What's going on bodybuilding.com team? Master Coach Zach Long here today to talk to you about everybody's favorite lift, the bench press, and a couple of tips to make sure your shoulders stay really healthy as you're trying to push bigger numbers on the bench press. So there are four things that I think are really important in terms of shoulder health with the bench press that we need to consider. By far the most important one for most athletes is going to be locking the shoulder blades into position when we bench press. So when we bench, we wanna think about taking our shoulder blades and pulling them back and down and getting them locked into position there. When we do that, as we go through the full range of motion, that's gonna prevent our shoulder from kind of getting wobbly and a little squirrely in the bottom. We'll see a lot of individuals as they get down to the bottom, their shoulder will kind of dump forward. And that forward dump tends to put a lot of pressure and load on the shoulder itself. It tends to aggravate some people's shoulders. So when you get set up in the bench press, you want to make sure you really pull those shoulder blades together, get those locked down nice and tight before you actually execute the lift themselves and you're thinking of keeping those squeezed together the entire time. And the next two things that are important, both have an impact on your ability to keep that stable foundation of shoulder blade positioning. So the next thing is to look at your shoulder extension range of motion. So shoulder extension is how far back behind your body your elbow can go. And what I see quite a lot as a physical therapist is individuals when they bench press, if they lack some of that shoulder extension, as they get down towards the bottom, their shoulder runs out of motion. And so they end up doing that forward dumped shoulder position that we just talked about. And that ends up again, putting a little bit more load on the shoulder itself. So I want you to watch your bench press, make sure you stay retracted. If you don't, here's your test. You're gonna keep your elbows right at your side. We're gonna pull your shoulder blades back and down together, like you're in this extreme military position. And then we're just gonna simply pull our hands back. We're not gonna let the shoulders round forward, but I wanna see how far back you can bring your hands. And what I'd like to see is that ideally, your knuckles can get to where they're in line with your stomach there without you rolling your shoulder forward at all. If you can do that, then your shoulder extension range of motion is really good. If you can't do that, then you might wanna start working on improving your shoulder extension. You can do that with some simple drills, such as grabbing a barbell, spreading your chest and sinking down. But things like that will help open up that mobility so that you can keep that stronger locked in position in your bench press. And the third thing we need to look at is your arch positioning. You'll see a lot of individuals, especially in the powerlifting world, get into these really extreme arch positions that are meant to reduce the range of motion of the lift, which would allow them to lift more weights. And I don't know that we necessarily need to go to those extremes, but most athletes need to have some sort of arch in their back when they lift. So if I get my shoulder blades set and I kind of lift my hips up high so that my weight is like on my upper trap and then I come down, I have a little bit of an arch but what you'll actually notice is if you start to get that little bit more of an arch with that weight going through your upper traps, the upper part of your shoulder blades here, that now you have more body weight going through your shoulder blades and your body weight will help keep those shoulder blades locked in place a little better. You'll have a more stable foundation off of which to press. So dial in your arch position a little bit more. Those are three really important things from a shoulder health perspective. The fourth tip we're gonna give is in regards to those of you that shoulder is starting to get a little bothersome with the bench press. So I think one thing that you need to really pay attention to when you bench is your elbow angle. There's not a right or wrong angle there. We just have to understand that different angles of our elbow will place the load on different tissues. For instance, if you go super wide grip, that tends to stretch the pecs quite a bit more and you'll tend to feel the bench press a little bit more in your pecs, but it also puts a little bit more load and strain on the shoulders itself. So if you're doing really wide, like this T position bench press and your shoulders are starting to get a little squirrely on you, a little tweaked, start to bring those elbows in a little bit more. If you come super close grip, obviously that becomes a little bit more tricep dominant in the bench press. So for most people being somewhere in the middle tends to be the happy ground for them, but play around with different elbow positions if your shoulders are starting to bother you a little bit. Hopefully those four tips will help you dial in your bench press technique a little bit more, stay a little bit healthier as you bench press and start hitting some more PRs on what is most people's favorite lift. As always, stay tuned for more episodes of bodybuilding.com as we try to give you more tools, tips, and tactics to help you build your body.